Okay, hello junkie. So part three. Bridge. Okay, bridge. So why did I change my the bridge of my base? Okay, because I had this notion that uh, a high mass bridge can actually affect my tone. Okay, they say that uh, the sustain is uh, you know sustain is uh, better. Although these are true. Okay. But they boil down to uh, these are more of personal preferences, okay? So just a little basic, basic, uh, some basic knowledge about the bridge, okay? The bridge is also known as the tailpiece, okay? Then also known as the tailpiece. So uh, the bridge, the job of the bridge, okay, is to uh, uh, help with the intonation. So you will do intonating here in the bridge okay so the contact points the tailpiece the bridge and then the nut back there in the neck will be the one uh, determining the quality of the vibration okay what i mean the quality of vibration is the intonation okay so if you are in tune so the one of the determining factors okay of the quality of your tuning will be your nut and your bridge okay so the primary job again of your bridge is to provide stable intonation so no matter what bridge that is as long as it gives you the it gives you the right string action okay lets you control your the, the string action of your choice okay so it gives you the string action of your choice and it does good intonation then that's already a good bridge all right because uh, in my experience uh, the tone difference between uh, high mass bridges and non high mass bridges okay it's so subtle okay so subtle i mean i really need to repeat okay to repeat and compare repeat compare for a long time for me to just uh, hear the difference i tell you it doesn't change your tone much okay so another reason why i chose this bridge okay because it's top loading it's easier to change strings all right it's easier to change strings and i have to admit it somewhat looks good <laughs> so it's more of aesthetic more of aesthetic so uh, be careful in choosing bridges okay uh, have a an, an expert guitar tech or a luthier okay? to install these bridges because uh, this this uh, the length of uh, <coughs> excuse me the length of the from the bridge here in the saddles to the nut is already uh, calculated okay so if you put this one further that could affect the uh, intonation in the feel okay so uh, before installing the bridges okay like this one i just aligned it okay with the old bridge so pretty much the location is the same all right so the bridge is uh, more of aesthetic okay aesthetic but of course if your bridge is already uh, rotting <laughs> and it's already damaged you have to replace your bridge especially if you cannot uh, adjust the saddle height anymore and you cannot uh, adjust the intonation by moving the saddles forward and backward if you cannot do that anymore that's the time you have to replace the bridge okay so me i really didn't have to replace it i just wanted to do it and i had the money so <laughs> why not so there, uh, the only time that it is imperative for you to replace your bridge is if you cannot adjust the saddles anymore, okay? If you cannot adjust the saddles anymore for good intonation and, your, and, and if you cannot get your preferred string height anymore, alright? But of course, the string height is also affected by the setup of your neck, alright? because uh, if you don't set up your neck properly it can also affect the difficulty or the ease where, uh, for you to get your desired string action alright so there so that's with the bridges
uh, for part I think part this is part three right <laughs> part four I will be discussing the onboard preamp shout